Hello everyone, this is an Octaco powered smartphone that is available for a price tag of Rs 8,999. I guess you already know what this is. I'm Gogi from Gogi.in and you're watching the review of Xiaomi Redmi Note. This is the 3G variant. The box packing is similar to as seen on the Mi3 and the Redmi 1S. Here is a quick look at the specification. It's using the MediaTek Octa-Core 6592 clocked at 1.7 GHz. There is 2 GB RAM, 8 GB internal storage. The screen is 5.5 inches, supporting HD resolution. There is 30 megapixel rear camera, 5 megapixel front camera. The battery is 3200 mAh. Inside the box, you'll find this handset, the Redmi Note 3G. The battery of 3100 mAh capacity. Travel charger. Data cable. User manual and warranty statement. Earphones are not included. Here is the Redmi Note. It's a premium looking handset with a very powerful hardware inside. Build quality and the finishing is very good as you can see. The body is made up of plastic. It's glossy white on the back side. The finishing is perfect. Curvy sides with no sharp edges. The bezel is glossy black color. The volume rockers and power button are placed on the right side. Micro USB port and a mic is placed at the bottom. 3.5mm audio jack and a mic is placed on the top. There are dual mics for noise cancellation. On the back side, you'll find the speaker out vent, Mi logo, and the 13 megapixel rear autofocus camera with LED flash. On the front bottom, you'll find the three touch sensitive buttons. They are red colored as seen on the Redmi 1S. On the top, there is 5 megapixel front facing camera, in call speaker, and the sensors. This is how you can open up the back cover. The back cover is made up of plastic, good quality. The buttons are integrated on the back panel itself, as you can see. The SAR values are mentioned inside the battery compartment. This is a dual SIM handset, you need two normal SIMs. This is SIM slot 1 supporting 3G, SIM slot 2 supports 2G and this is the micro SD card slot. This handset is bulky, weight with battery is 186 grams. It is 9.10 mm thick, the breadth is 78.57 mm and the length is 153.81 mm. This screen is with Corning Gorilla Glass 3 protection, but it is not mentioned on the box pack. As you can see here, the screen is very clear without any scratches. Let's do the scratch test. I have placed some tapes on the screen and I'm cutting it while the tape is still glued onto the screen. I'm using a sharp blade. It's rather difficult removing this tape when it is cut off into so many pieces. In fact, I'll be using the blade again, as you can see. Okay, it's clean now and what you see here are the sticky residue left by the tape. Clean it with a soft cloth. And here is the screen after the test. There are no scratches. The Redmi Note screen is scratch resistant. And now let's power it on. This handset is running MIUI. This is the lock screen and as you can see, both the SIMs are functioning. I'm using 3G on SIM slot 1 as you can see. And now I'm going to switch to SIM 2. SIM 2 will support 2G and yes it does as you can see. You can use 3G only on SIM slot 1. Here is the MIUI interface. The touch is very smooth and responsive. I'm sure many of you are now familiar with this interface. Redmi Note is running this MIUI which is based on Android 4.2. It's a compact interface. For example, you'll find all the tools applications inside the tools folder. The dedicated red colored navigation buttons, they do light up as you can see. It's a 5.5 inch screen with HD resolution and the viewing angles are pretty good. The color reproduction is also very good. There are many themes available, you can download them and completely change the look and feel of the interface. Here is the phone dialer, you can directly dial from any of the SIM slots, SIM 1, SIM 2. Native video calling is not supported. There is built-in security options in case you want to use it. Wi-Fi Direct, Wi-Fi Hotspot, USB and Bluetooth tethering is supported. 3G is supported, there is prevent pocket dials to lock the phone automatically when it is placed in your pocket. There is built-in GPS and the lock is instant. You can also use the MyCloud features if you want. You can also change the battery indicator. We've already seen this on the Mi3 and the Redmi 1S. There is LED notification and you can also set up the colors. And this is how the LED notification lights up. There is light mode in case you want to use this handset in the simplest format. 
Hindi language is supported, as you can see. Redmi Note also supports direct audio. Of the 8 GB internal storage, you get around 6 GB for apps, of which 5 GB is available. There is 2 GB RAM and you get around 1.2 GB free on the first boot. There was a MIUI update available and I have updated it to the latest version. I have connected an external OTG pen drive and yes, OTG does work. There is no option to install the apps on the external storage. I have downloaded Asphalt 8 and as you can see it got installed on the internal storage and there is no option to move to external storage. There is one more interesting thing I found when you tap on any application you get an option to enable floating windows. I don't know what it does and there is no application that will be using this feature probably it's in the experimental stage. It could probably be something similar to what we have seen on the Samsung Galaxy Note 4. Resizing and moving the window. Let's check out the system information. It's using the MediaTek MT6592 octa core processor clocked at 1.7 GHz with Mali 450 MP GPU. This handset is running Android 4.2.2. The screen size is 5.5 inches. It's mentioned as 4.59 inches here. It's incorrect. It's actually 5.5 inches supporting 1280 by 720 pixels resolution. And here are the sensors, accelerometer proximity, light, gyro and magnetic. The time is 10.45, battery at 85% and the temperature at 33 degrees. Quadrant benchmark score is 16066, antidote score is 32712, Vilamo, metal, 878, multicore 1517, browser 2085, Nina Mark II is at a good 61.1 FPS and this handset supports 10-point multi-touch. Here is the camera interface, it's an autofocus camera, similar to as seen on the other Xiaomi handsets. And here are the different options, I'm using the advanced mode option. There is autofocus and macro mode and here are the filters. The scene modes. Rear camera is 30 megapixel as you can see. You can switch to simple mode if you want. And these are the settings options you get in the simple mode. HDR and panorama are supported and you can also shoot videos in full HD resolution. You can also shoot slow motion videos. Front camera is 5 megapixel. I am recording this video using the rear camera. This video got recorded in 1080p at 30 frames per second. After 28 minutes, the battery dropped by 7% and the temperature is 36 degrees. Wi-Fi is on and I'm going to switch brightness from auto to manual and going to set it to the maximum. I'm going to play this video in a loop. Unfortunately, there was a problem playing this video in a loop format on the MX player, as you can see. I'm going to play some other videos. I played the videos for about 37 minutes. The battery dropped by 8% and the temperature is 35 degrees. Let's play some games. I've installed these two games, Modern Combat 5 and Asphalt 8. Both these games got installed on the internal storage. The gameplay is very smooth as you can see. There is a very mild lag if you have noticed, but the game is still pretty much playable. Let's move on to Modern Combat 5. This game also did very well. The graphics looks really good on the Redmi Note and the gaming response and the controls are pretty smooth. I played these games for about 26 minutes, the battery dropped by 10% and the temperature is 39 degrees. This is an octa-core powered smartphone that comes with 2GB RAM and 8GB internal storage. The performance is very good and the handset really doesn't heat up. The camera quality is also very good, GPS lock is almost instant. The 3100mAh battery does a pretty good job. 
You can expect the battery backup of about 4 to 8 hours and you can fully charge the battery in about 3 hours. And the next best thing about the Redmi Note is the price. Rs. 8,999. Visit my website to check sample images and videos shot using this handset. And if you like this video, do hit the like button and don't forget to share.